Every Monday, five links about Kubernetes, OpenShift, CICD, and DevOps. And this week, we are going to talk about the challenge of finding the right architecture for your cloud native application or service. Remember last year? We were talking about Red Hat scaling up an OpenShift cluster to run 500 pods per node. This time we found another milestone for Kubernetes. The OpenAI team has scaled their Kubernetes cluster for machine learning to 7,500 nodes. They provide lots of detail and crunchy information in their blog post. And if your job consists in scaling up Kubernetes applications, you gotta read this. The recent announcement by WhatsApp of their change of privacy policy has made users rush to their competitors like Signal, Telegram, or our Swiss friends of Threema. And speaking about Threema, how do they cope with the sudden increase in traffic in their systems? Well, they've written a very nice blog post in November last year that explains everything you need to know about it. And by the way, today is Delete WhatsApp Day, so if you'd excuse me. Have you ever heard about the Trusted Messaging Transfer Protocol? It is a secure alternative to the SMTP protocol proposed by Lion Breck. There is already an implementation in Go, and if you would like to get involved, just read this article. We don't even think about root DNS servers every time you browse the web, you stream a movie on Netflix, or you browse your TikTok timeline. But root DNS servers are a critical part of the internet, and operating them, it's as complicated as they are critical. Do you know the Unix slogan, everything is a file? Imagine if cloud storage was just a folder on your file system. And that is precisely what JuiceFS is trying to achieve, a POSIX compatible distributed file system built on top of Redis and Amazon S3. But there's one more thing. We have a bonus item today. We really want to share this with you. The new stack has published the top trends in cloud native architectures for 2020. And guess what? The monolith is back. And as always, what about you? What architectures do you use in your own infrastructure? Are you moving back to monolith? Would you like to share any tips and tricks with the community? Leave us your comment below. And as usual, subscribe, like, and share. And see you next week for another Vision Timer. Bye.